What's up, y'all? Bring you guys another video. This bring you guys my post fight thoughts of the fight between Errol Spence Jr. and Danny Garcia. As we all know, they recently fought over in Texas at the AT&T Stadium. But before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps. It also helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, uh, like I was saying, Spence versus Garcia ended up going the distance. Went the whole 12 rounds. And Errol Spence Jr. won the fight by unanimous decision with all three judges having it in his favor. With two, ju two judges scoring it 116-112 and one judge scoring it 117-111. It was a pretty one-sided fight in my opinion. In my opinion, I think the judges had it way too close. I felt like they were being way, way too generous towards Danny Garcia. In this fight, I had it 11 rounds to 1 in favor of Spence. And that one round was a close round. It was that one round where Spence did too much moving around pretty much. That's basically it. That's why I gave it to Danny Garcia. But, uh, you know, I think the judges had it way too close. 8 rounds to 4? Come on, man. That was 11 rounds to 1 or 10 rounds to 2. Danny Garcia won probably two rounds at most in this fight, in my opinion. But it is what it is. I thought Spence did a spectacular job controlling the fight, using the jab. Um, Danny Garcia couldn't figure him out. Danny Garcia looked like he looked lost. He didn't know what to do. He didn't have a game plan. He wasn't applying. To, he wasn't listening to his dad to just let his hands go and just go forward. He looked like he was afraid to take the punches from Spence. Spence was throwing punches from different angles, going to the body, throwing combinations. You know, Spence did actually a pretty good job here. You know, not the most exciting fight, but at the same time, you know, I thought Spence did a pretty good job. Is it was it worth seventy five dollars? Eh, I don't know about seventy five dollars. To be honest, if Spence doesn't fight Crawford or Manny Pacquiao, and if it's pay per view, it better have a very damn good undercard to convince me to buy it. Because it, in my opinion, this wasn't worth seventy five dollars. Seventy five freaking dollars, man. To some people, to a lot of people out there, people had to work seven hours to get that type of money. Yeah, I'm fortunate enough to, you know, make a decent amount. But still, that's still a lot of money, man. $75. That's insane. But yeah, I, I thought, I honestly thought Spence made Danny Garcia look like a D-level fighter in this fight. That's how bad I thought Danny Garcia looked. He just, he, he really did look lost. He didn't know what to do. He wasn't really landing any big punches. He landed some here and there. But in the end, it was all Spence. It was all Errol Spence. Errol Spence clearly won this fight. He He's clearly levels ahead or not necessarily levels ahead but he is clearly a lot better than Danny Garcia which is no surprise here um you know it, it's uh, a lot of people thought you know questioned that uh Errol Spence on whether he's still the same fighter after the accident in my opinion yeah he's still the same fighter um yeah I think he he's the number two welterweight right now behind Terrence Crawford in my opinion I th I honestly think Darren Crawford's still better than Errol Spence. But yeah, with this win, Errol, S Errol Spence uh, remains undefeated. Improves to 27 and 0, 21 wins come by way of knockout or TKO. Um, you know, not, not not you know, not looking pretty good resume right now. Uh, great way to end the great way to end the year for Errol Spence compared to the way he ended last year, rolling with his you know rolling all over in his car and trunk driving and all that hopefully he doesn't do that after this fight and uh yeah he, he looks like he bought a ranch or something like that and he he, he lo looks like he's focused on his ranch and his horses when he was asked the question about who he wants next he said he wants to focus on his ranch so it looks like that's what he'll be doing next as for danny garcia he, no excuses from him after the fight he said he was you know he was beat by the better man and yeah danny garcia <laughs> I don't know, man. He, he's he's too slow. Um, you know, he's still a good fighter. He he really is, but he he's he he's obviously the 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 weakest link out of the the top fighters among the PBC fighters, PBC welterweights. He's definitely the weakest fighter among them. So, see, so yeah, obviously, when it comes to what's next, 
Danny Garcia. I wouldn't mind seeing him fight uh, Josecito Lopez, who fought in the undercard of this event. I think that would be a very good comeback fight. Um, so I wouldn't mind seeing that for Danny Garcia. And as for Errol Spence, we all know the fight we want to see. And that's a fight against Terrence Crawford. Who, Boxer has him at number two in the welterweight? Are you kidding me? No way. Terrence Crawford, number one. Terrence Crawford is the fight we all want to see. Who, by the way, was in the crowd. He was in the audience. And actually, it looks like you know the, pub the PBC acknowledged Terrence Crawford this time around. You know, considering him a champion this time around. Which, uh, it's pretty cool of them. Um, oh, actually, just... Sean Porter seems like he's interested in fighting Terrence Crawford. So, you know, it's good for him. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, it was a pretty one-sided fight. Uh, easy win from Spence. Again, I, if he doesn't fight, $75 really is a lot of money. Yeah, that, that That's a lot of money, man. Uh, he needs to fight Pacquiao. If it's not Pacquiao or Crawford, obviously the Crawford fight is the fight we all want to see. If it's not Pacquiao or Crawford, I don't think it's worth paying for, in my opinion. So hopefully he ends up fighting one of them, guys. So anyway, if you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Do not forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Please, and like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.